Manchester United without five players versus Luton Town, Johnny Evans is out for Manchester United in their Premier League home fixture against Luton Town on Saturday. Evans came off after 15 minutes in the 4-3 Champions League defeat to Copenhagen on Wednesday night and United are yet to conclude their assessment of his injury. The 35-year-old has started five of the last seven games and he was replaced by Raphael Verani in Denmark. Verani has only started one of United's last seven games. We don't have in this moment a full assessment done, United manager Eric Ten Hag said of Evans, we don't have the full details so far. For tomorrow, he's out. Harry Maguire is set to keep his place, having started the last seven games, and he will be partnered by Verani or Victor Lindelof. Defenders Luke Shaw, Tyrell Malaysia and Lisandro Martinez are still sidelined with long-term injuries. Martinez and Casemiro are not expected to play again before Christmas. Luton secured a point against. Liverpool at Kennel with Road last week and are a place above the relegation zone as they prepare to visit Old Trafford for the first time since September 1991. I think they had some more good performances and results, Ten Hag said, so we're fully aware of that. In the Premier League, there is no easy game, you have to play at your best, highest levels every game. We have to be 100% focused to win every game. Eric Ten Hag explains why Mason Mount is not starting for Manchester United, Johnny Evans is out for Manchester United in their Premier League home fixture against Luton Town on Saturday. Evans came off after 15 minutes in the 4-3 Champions League defeat to Copenhagen on Wednesday night and United are yet to conclude their assessment of his injury. The 35-year-old has started five of the last seven games and he was replaced by Raphael Verani in Denmark. Verani has only started one of United's last seven games. We don't have in this moment a full assessment done, United manager Eric Ten Hag said of Evans, we don't have the full details so far. For tomorrow, he's out. Harry Maguire is set to keep his place, having started the last seven games, and he will be partnered by Verani or Victor Lindelof. Defenders Luke Shaw, Tyrell Malaysia and Lisandro Martinez are still sidelined with long-term injuries. Martinez and Casemiro are not expected to play again before Christmas. Luton secured a point against Liverpool at Kenilworth Road last week and are a place above the relegation zone as they prepare to visit Old Trafford for the first time since September 1991. I think. They had some more good performances and results, Ten Hag said, so we're fully aware of that. In the Premier League, there is no easy game, you have to play at your best, highest levels every game. We have to be 100% focused to win every game. Verani and Garnacho to start Manchester United's predicted starting 11 versus Luton Town, Manchester United return to action in the Premier League this weekend when they welcome Luton Town to Old Trafford. Ordinarily, this fixture would not have the same weight of importance as it does at the moment but Eric Ten Hag will be desperate for his team to win comfortably on Saturday. United suffered disappointment in midweek when they conceded twice late on to lose 4-3 at FC Copenhagen. The result was a hammer blow for the Reds' Champions League qualification hopes and did little to release pressure on the shoulders of the United boss. A victory prior to the international break will do plenty for the mood around the club and men's sport has picked the side we think Ten Hag will trust to do the job, goalkeeper Andre Onana Onana continues to be one of United's standout performers for the Reds despite goals being shipped frequently. There seems to be little doubt about his place in the 11. Defenders Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Harry Maguire, Rafael Verani, Sergio Rigailan, Johnny Evans' injury leaves a place up for grabs at centre-back and it seems right Verani takes it. The Frenchman will have to perform better than he did against FC Copenhagen to keep the spot though. Diogo Dalot is also replaced considering his mixed start to the season. United would likely benefit from a recognized left back in the squad. Midfielders Scott McTominay, Christian Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes Ten Hag addressed Mason Mount's lack of starts for United in his pre-match press conference but this is unlikely to change on Saturday. Kabi Mainu is a wildcard option to start in the center but Ten Hag is likely to go with the same midfield which started in Denmark. Forwards Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hodgland, Alejandro Garnacho, before his red card, the front three of Rashford, Hodgland and Garnacho appeared to be working a treat for United. Ten Hag will be keen to see how it performs against the Hatters as he attempts to get his forwards on the scoresheet on a regular basis in the Premier League.
Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag addressed the media at Carrington, ahead of our Premier League meeting with Luton Town at Old Trafford on Saturday afternoon, 1500 hours Greenwich Mean Time kickoff. United are bidding to bounce back following our Champions League defeat to FC Copenhagen in midweek, while the Hatters are relishing facing the Reds for the first time in the league since 1992. Rob Edwards' side drew 1-1 with Liverpool last time out and Eric admits he is aware there are no easy games in the Premier League, as we look to return to winning ways at the Theatre of Dreams. Scroll down to read and watch everything the boss had to say, including lines on Marcus Rashford, Johnny Evans and Mason Mount, Hi Eric, obviously there were extenuating circumstances but you did lose the game on Wednesday and that's 9 defeats now, in 2023-24. Is it acceptable for Manchester United to be losing so many games so early in the season? It is all about the end result. We have to win games, so we are very disappointed when we lose any game. But, finally it is about the end result. It is about being in a process, thinking about the process and then it is about managing that process. This is only what I focus on, do you trust this group of players? You were two goals up and coasting and then something not great happened and then focus seemed to be lost. That is not the first time that has happened this season and if you can't overcome bad things in games, you won't get anywhere, I think we often have proved we can, like at Fulham. Like against Brentford. This team can overcome big setbacks, I just wanted to ask about Marcus Rashford. How has he been after the red card and are you happy with his form at the moment? I think he is not happy, we are not happy, but that is because we have an expectation. He has high expectations from himself and in this moment, he is not in the best form. I know he will be back and I know when the team is playing better, he will be playing better. He will go and score goals, I am confident on that. Also this season, he will improve and he will score goals. He is totally in the team and he is totally aware of everything. He will be back on track soon, how confident are you that we will see the best of Marcus Rashford soon, it can happen very quickly. Sometimes you only need one game. I am sure that he will get there. Eric I am sure you will have seen the point Luton got against Liverpool last week in a big performance from them. What have you made of them as they try to find their feet in the Premier League? I think they have had some more good performances and results, so we are fully aware of that. In the Premier League there are no easy games and you have to play at your best and your highest levels in every game. So we are fully aware of it and we have to be 100% fully focused on it in the game to win that game. Can I just ask? Johnny Evans Obviously came off in that game against Copenhagen. How is he and what are his chances for the game and also for Northern Ireland next week? We don't have, in this moment, a full assessment done. So we didn't finish it and we don't have all the details so far. But for tomorrow he is out, and for next week, do you know? I can't say this because we haven't fully finished the assessment. Hi Eric, with Mason Mount 